Hi everyone, welcome again to Azure DevOps tutorial. And in the series of Azure DevOps, we are learning about the inherited process. In few previous videos, in part 19 and 20, we have learned how can we create the new inherited process, how can we create the new project under inherited process, and how can we create a new custom work item under a particular work process. So that we have already learned in previous part. Now it's time to learn how can we customize the fields under a particular work items. Let's start. Let's have a look what we are going to learn in this video. We will learn how can we customize items layout, how can we add a new custom field, how can we set the location of field, what is the meaning of set location of field. It means in the previous part when you are adding a new custom field under a work item then that was located on the left side of that particular item. What if you want to change the location of that particular field? So I want to make it on the left side, I want to make it on the right side, or I want to display it on the middle part or any other tab, all those things. So this is all about the location. We will learn how can we set the location of a particular field? How can we set type of field? What is the meaning of type? It means how can we make it a drop down? How can we make it a text box, a text area, a checkbox, a calendar, all these things then how can we make a field required if a particular member is making any change in that particular work item then he has to fill that particular field how can you set the default values of a particular field what is the meaning of default value suppose you have created a text box and under that text box you want to display some default value automatically how can we do that there are loads of customizations available under azure devos board and we will learn all of them one by one how can we add a new type to the work item? You, so you have seen we have few types under the work item, just like the details, history, all those things, the attachments. How can we create a new tab under that work item? That also we will learn. We will verify all the results. So what we will do, we will make all the changes in the process and then simply we will verify the results in the project which we have created using that particular process. Lots of other things you will learn in this video. So let's start. So let's customize work item fields in inherited process. For that, let's go to the Azure DevOps portal. So let's open the inherited process which we have created in the previous part. Organization setting, go to process. Click on the custom with this basic process. This is the process which we have created in the previous parts. So we have all the work items and then open a related project. So suppose this is the project, custom basic project one. So there are two things, either you can create a new work item or you can work on the existing work items. So let's start from scratch, let's click on the new work item, here I'm writing custom Nitish, okay, and to the description, the icon, I want to make this icon, choose the color, suppose I want to make it black, create. And now let's add a new work item of type custom Nitish, so let's refresh it first. Click on the plus button, new work item, and click on the custom Nitish. Enter the details. Suppose writing basically this is the title. Let's click on the save and close. Go back to the work items, implement any functionality, and open the details. Okay, so this is the basic thing which we have done in the previous part. Now we will start the customization of this work item. Right now you can see we have few tabs, first one is the details, then we have second tab which is history, we have attachments and the links, okay. What if I want to add a new tab under this work item, for that you have to first open that work item in the inherited process, so how can you open it? From the list of all the work items you simply have to click on that particular work item under which you want to make some changes. So suppose I want to make changes in the custom Nithis, let's click on it. And now you can see we have few menus, layout, state, rules, we will be working on the layout today. So in the layout you can see we have a new field, new group, new page, extensions and the refresh button. So first we will start from the new page. Okay, what is the meaning of new page? New page is basically a new tab. Let's click on it and add a new name. I want to add a custom page. So suppose I'm writing custom tab. This is the name of my new page. Click on the add page. So right now we have two pages, first one is the details and second one is the custom tab. So suppose under this custom tab I want to add a new field, click on the new field and to name anything, anything, you can write anything, I want to make the type as a text box, click on the add field, 
so this one is created over here and if I go here refresh it then you can see we have a custom tab over here you are having details all these things now we have new custom tab also if I click on it then you can see we have a field enter name okay so this is the field which you have created you can enter the name you can click on the save button and it will be visible to the work items great let's customize it further for that let's go back to the details page and under the details let's add a new field where is the details page this one so we are working on this page now and add a new field so suppose i'm writing custom one and let's add it this one is added and if i refresh it you will see we have a custom one over here great in the details we have three columns this is the left column this is the middle column and this is the right most column if you want to add a new field under this left one then you can click on the new field if you want to add a new field in the middle one then you can click here on the add a field okay let's add a new field suppose i'm writing custom 2 and uh, let's simply click on the add field so new field has been added in the middle part where is the middle part we do not have any middle part right now but if you will refresh it you will see we have new field here on the middle portion now let's learn about the group what is group let's click on the new group we can enter the name of group so suppose i can write display on middle okay you can enter the page details on what page you are going to display your value so basically before that let's understand what is a group a group is basically is a set of all those settings which you want to use while you are displaying your particular field okay on what page you want to display your field here you can see we have the select column for the group we have three columns left middle and the right where you want to add your field we want to display your field i want to display it on the middle so i'll choose the middle one so all the fields which i will create by using this group will be visible here on the middle part okay let's add this group and uh, display on the middle this is this is basically the group now let's add a new field under this group and uh, i can write in this custom go to the layout and you have to choose the group so here you will see display on middle and add field so now you can see under the display on middle we have a new field so basically this is the title of this particular group so just like this we have the title over here development so all the things which are related to the development are visible here everything which is related to the related work is visible here simply everything which is related to the display on middle will be available over here so let's refresh it and now you can see we have a new field so this is the title of the group and we have all the fields which we have created under this group so this is the main custom and you can add the values you can save it like this now let's make this field as a required to make it a required field you have to click on the added button basically you have to go to the options field if you are creating the new one then you can choose the options and here is a checkbox of the required let's check this checkbox and click on the save button refresh over here if I remove the value of this field and I want to save it then you will see we immediately we have an error this is the detail field in this custom cannot be empty so you have to enter the value in this field here also you can see we have a notification just like the details of the error so it means you have to enter the values so I'm writing any value and immediately the save button is enabled so this is how you can make your field as an required field now let's add one more field custom 3 here you can choose the type boolean date time decimal identity everything which we have learned in the previous part so basically the type will work in a similar way that we have learned in the previous part go to the options if you want to set the default values what is the default values and for that let's go to the definition and since we have the text box single line text box i can enter a string so this is the default value okay and then click on layout button under the layout you can choose the group where you want to display it so i want to display it on the middle one click on the add field and immediately you will see we have added a new field under this display on middle let's go here and refresh the work item now you can see we have a custom 3 and the default value of this field which we have set from the inherited process is visible over here this is how you can create a custom field and you can set the default value of that particular field
okay now suppose if you do not want to see some fields how can you de delete that or how can you remove them i do not want to see the description so you can, you can simply click here on the three dots and hide from layout okay so this is not visible right now if i go here and refresh it then you will see the description box will not be visible to us so that's how you can hide any particular field so since description was the existing one so that's why we were not having any option of the delete but we can simply hide it if you want to make some changes in this custom one then you can click three if you want to remove it click on the remove now you can see this custom one will be removed from here so the custom is not available over here simply we have only discussion and now suppose if you want to change the location of a particular group how can you do that so instead of changing all the fields one by one you can simply make all the changes from the group also so go to the group level go to these three dots click over here and uh, click on the edit button and now you can see you can set the locations so suppose this is the left middle and the right one choose the right one suppose and click on the save button then you can see display on middle is on the right side and the name is setting middle but do not care about the name we can see the display on middle earlier it used to be here on the middle section but now it is here on the third column what if i want to see it on the top so for that you have to click again here on this group and move up so it has been moved up by one step if you want to make it on the top then you can again click over here and move to up the changes are saved automatically go here and refresh the page now you will see that your group is visible on top so that's how you can customize your fields under a particular work item i hope you have learned a lot of things from this video if you like it give it a thumbs up tell me your feedback in the comment section don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day